Joining me now, criminal defense attorney and in-session contributor Joey Jackson. And Joey, this is very much a he said, she said case. So in a case like this, how do you determine if the sex was consensual or not? You know what, Ryan? It's very tough, and there's a collision here oftentimes in the law. And what is that collision? On the one hand, no woman ever deserves to be violated in any way. The sanctity of the human body absolutely needs to be respected. On the other hand, no person or man should be falsely accused of doing something they didn't do. And so ultimately, what you have to do, Ryan, is look to the surrounding facts and circumstances. From the prosecution's point of view, Ryan, they have an issue here. The issue is, why didn't she initially report? in December nor in January when it allegedly occurred again. They're arguing she was too traumatized to do so. From the defense perspective, they will say she didn't because it's not true. It didn't occur. We should also understand, Ryan, that she was stopped the very night. Actually, he and she were stopped because he was driving her car the very night she alleges, January 6th, that she was raped again and at that time said nothing to the police. And so, therefore, the defense will be hammering away on why nothing was said in addition to recent outcry witnesses. When things happen, generally we may have a close friend that we say, oh my goodness, I can't believe what he did to me. So that testimony becomes very critical as well. All right. You know, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure